it's time to get organized. Spiking bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and this video is going to be really exciting, at least for me. I hopefully, hopefully for y'all too. Uh, so we've got the new go bag here, or go bag EVO from Monument Hobbies. He sent this over. Um, it's really big. It's uh, it came in the box, and I was like, what's what's in this huge box? And I was like, holy cow, it's the it's the bag. So I had uh, it's just this is wild how big this thing is. So I've been pestering for a while because I saw this in one of his videos when he was live at Valhalla, I think it was. And I immediately Facebooked him. I was like, Doc, what's that bag you got? And <laughs> he's like, oh, I got a thing coming. And it's been about four months or so, but it's finally here. And uh, he, he sent me one to check out. And I was like, Doc, I'm really excited for this. So this is his old bag. Actually, I got I got this back when he was slow fuse and, uh, you know, just doing the streaming and stuff. But now, you know, his Monument Hobbies producing all sorts of amazing things for the, for the hobby in general. You know, real actual artist quality components. And, you know, it's just it's just amazing uh, the thought process and, and the team he has over there and how he's expanded over the past uh, six, seven years. Um, and, 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 I, and I love talking about them because, you know, this is a, this is a hobby success story. Basically, it's, it's amazing. So I've got this <laughs> and what I'm going to try to do over the course of the next week or so is I've got my current go bag, if you want to even call it that. So this is, this is, this is my current go bag, whether I'm, I'm in here or I'm out at my table in my living room, watching some football or something or I'm going down to the local game store. This is this is what I'm working with, y'all. This is what I'm working with. This got everything I need. But, you know, as you can tell, it's it's a little buster. It's a little buster. And I don't really have a place to put miniatures. This is this is where I'm putting my miniatures. Like just open faced, ready to just take a dive onto the onto the floor there. So, I'm really excited to get this bag and and kind of see what we can do with it so let's let's take a look at their website and there's also supposedly room in the back to actually store lights so if you want to bring lights with you and you know set them up on the go uh that seems like a good idea too and there's plenty of room my cat can literally fit in the back of this bag it's, it's amazing i'm just like it's incredible so let's take a look at it on the site uh, i'll show you the lights on amazon I, I just ordered them uh they'll be here this week so it's probably going to take me a week to actually get all this stuff into this bag the way i like it and then we're going to come back and be like hey this is what i ended up doing so let's let's kick it off because this is this is going to be a fun one jumping right into the website here it is monumenthobbies.com i'm sure you've been here by now but uh this is the product page and you can get to all their other cool stuff here like all their paints uh, the brush soap definitely pick that up if you if you haven't yet this stuff's amazing we have a separate video here uh on that um all this stuff here now i know you know i'm not going to be sugar-coated 195 dollars for a bag it, that's a lot of money in 2023 yeah that's a lot of money i i 100 agree with you uh yes i got this for free he sent it to me i probably would have bought it <laughs> myself if you know if i didn't you know do what i do for a living here uh talking about all this stuff because i know me, Rob Bear, I know Monument Hobbies always puts out good shit, so I have no problem spending the money with Monument Hobbies. Um, that being said, they do have, and you can't really see it on here, but there is uh, four interest-free payments you can do with, uh, what is it, Shop Pay, and a lot of sites do that that have Shopify. You can you can break up your payments and things, and they, they ship the stuff out to you ahead of time. So if you don't want to use credit card, and, and the interest varies, I think it's like between 10% and like 26, so obviously 26 is kind of a lot, so don't put yourself in a financial pickle. Um, but just, you know, there, there's ways to get this stuff and, you know, if you have to save up for it, hey, you have to save up for it. Sometimes it's worth, uh, you know, you saw that hot mess that I'm working with and, you know, that was super affordable and you can put all your hobby supplies in whatever you want and make it as easy as you want to move around. You know, I, I, you can make a web palette out of nothing. There's all sorts of ways. If you have infinity time and infinity resources, you can save infinity dollars. But for some people that don't have the infinity time, maybe infinity resources, but I would just rather throw you know some money at a problem to kind of solve it these days for myself because i have so much going on personally and that's you know that's this just depends on where you are in your hobby journey that being said yes this is a lot of this is a lot of money there are different ways to actually get it i don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it but i know the first comment is going to be a, no thanks 
I can make the bag out of a, a backpack for 20 bucks. Yeah, you absolutely can. And I'm not saying don't. <laughs> like if that's your thing, that's your thing. Um, you know, I still use some, uh, uh, I think like utensil holders and you're gonna see it when I unpack this bag here. You know, the stuff you, you put your forks and knives in, in in your kitchen drawer. Like I, I, I buy the cheap stuff and I put it in there and I, I use it as much as I can when it's, you know, effective. Uh, but this, you know, I think is a total solution. And like I said, whether I'm recording here, whether I'm going to the living room, down in my game store, you know, if you're going to conventions, I think this is a great solution. Also, you know, bags comparable to this, they're very high quality, you know, have that um, uh, ballistic, or what would you call it? They, the, the high quality canvas and the, you know, the all the buzzwords, like stuff like that, you know, different companies like Battle Foam and things, those are gonna be comparable prices. So this isn't unreasonable for the product you're getting is what I'm getting at here. And there's, like I said, ways to do it. So let's take a look at the product because I've already opened this up and kind of tinkered with it. I haven't filled it up yet. So here's what it looks like. Here's the product without all the all the uh, hobby supplies in it. And here's the back, which or the front, which I already showed you here, right? And then here is uh, the back. Now it's gonna have these Molly straps um right here so if you have little molly pouches and things you can put them on there it's gonna have velcro so if you got you know badges and things that you collected from monument um you can put those back here you know whatever you want you can put it back here it's got a little luggage identifier and of course a strap um it, it is not unheavy already and i imagine when i put that much stuff in it it's gonna get even heavier and i asked him uh what the weight capacity might be and I haven't heard back yet, but that might be an interesting thing because um, it wasn't really listed here. Now there's a bunch of you know details and things that we've talked about. Um, elastic straps, you can pull off the Velcro on, on the wings. You can do all sorts of things with um, you know the strap. Um, here's the actual dimensions. This thing is huge, huge. Uh, but the surface that it opens up into basically takes over uh, like half a normal like uh, card table basically. Um, Let's talk, oh, so here's the back, and this is important too, I wanted to talk about this. You can't really tell, but here's a 45, uh, where the foam trays to hold the paint are, and then it kind of kicks back to like a reverse 45. So it's making this like, uh, what is that? Uh, isosceles, I, I forget my geometry shapes there, but it's making this like shape here with this, um, this wedge mesh here. So you can, this is generally where you can put like lamps or um, like a small compressor or something like that for airbrushing. And then back here, you've got another mesh pad, which technically you could put, you could probably put, I wouldn't risk it, but you could in theory put a laptop here. This thing's so big. I mean, if it had a Velcro strap, you know, I feel a little bit more secure about it, but you could, and it's, you know, um, in theory, put that there. But the one thing I wanted to mention that's really hard to see from all these pictures that I don't think anybody's really kind of punched home yet, and this is the thing I'm most excited about because I wanna see what I can stuff in there, is this huge like cavern mouth right here, which this is the back of. So if we switch to the front, you can see in this picture, you've got this huge open face mouth underneath here that goes the length of the foam back. So like four inches, which is kind of significant if you think about it. You, you basically, this is, this is where the Millennium Falcon flies in the asteroid and tries to hang out, right? So you can fit a Millennium Falcon in here. Actually, you probably can't put the actual toy in here, but you get what I'm saying. You, you fly in here and then eventually come out um, when, you, when you find all your stuff. So I'm really excited about that to kind of see where I can, uh, what I can kind of stuff in here as far as all my little project bins and things that I'm about to show you because uh, that's really neat. Now there's also these lamps that are in this picture that are obviously not included. Um, they do plug in and they're dimmable. Uh, they, I found them on Amazon. He sent me the link to them. So let's take a look at those and I'll, I'll put the link in here too. Now the thing about lamps is everybody out there wants to sell, sell you a painting lamp it seems like these days. Like over here on my desk, I have these really um, large and wide, uh, uh, what is it, CFL, I think they're CFL bulbs. Uh, I've had these going uh, for, since I started, before I started streaming. So going on seven years now, and I haven't had any problems with them ever in the history of ever. I, bought, I actually bought a second one. This is over on our Hobby Essentials page. You can get the links for these, of course, and I usually put it in the comments and things too. Um, these are great for your painting desk, but if you're going portable, you might want something like this. And for that, you really don't need a whole lot. You maybe need something that is battery powered and they are out there. I found a few on Amazon. I wasn't super impressed with any of them, but this is the one that Jason recommends. And for 20 bucks, I mean, I feel like the specs on it are really good. I went ahead and picked up two. They should be here this week. So by the time 
I go through and rearrange this bag, I will have a better idea of how I like these and uh, more stuff. So you can kind of see here, they're, they're dimmable. They don't just blast out light. Um, they've got a whole bunch of these settings right here, which I really like because, you know, all the lights I have on here, like the overhead lights are not really dimmable and they just blast. But then the stuff I got closer uh, to the desk right here on, and you can see probably changing right now in front of your eyes. Um, nope, it's over here. So let's try this. So I can change the color temperatures. I don't know if it reflects, but it's uh, going from blue. I like to keep a nice yellow so I don't blow out my eyeballs. There we go. Get back to yellow. So you can mess around with all these these light colors and I definitely recommend it for for your eyeballs because, you know, eye health is really crucial to this hobby because I'll, once you hit 35, 40, you're going to start not seeing detail as much and you want to make sure if you're on the computer a lot that you're taking care of your eyes. And, and that actually I've learned a lot over the past few years doing 3D printing that you really have to take care of your eyes and there's there's different tricks. You know, send me a Facebook message. I can tell you all the stuff that I've learned um, <laughs> through uh, uh, doctor visits and hospital room trips uh, <laughs> not to do and not to expose yourself to. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. So I'm going to pick these up and I will put the link in the uh, um, uh, description and things so you can uh, check these out. So now let's, uh, let's take a little bit of a look of the empty bag more than what we did on the site here. And I'll show you all the stuff that I'm going to attempt to fit in this thing over the next week or so before I come back and kind of finish off the video. I forgot to make one of my main points. So the one point I did want to make was when it comes to buying lights uh, for your hobby setup, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that want to sell you these lights, right? And and one of the key, the key things is you always want a dimmable, you want to be able to change the intensity um, as best you can, like something like this. So you can have different selectors for your particular eyesight. And let's be real, like these overhead lamps that I have on my on my paint desk, I think are 60 bucks now. They've come down from 100 over, you know, past 70 years or seven years or so. That's a good value for the amount of space they take up the, you know, the fact that I really don't need two. I only take I only do two because I'm recording uh, and things like that. Like there's a lot of other companies out there that want to sell you these like overpriced lamps when something like this is only 19.99 on Amazon. Um, you might have to buy two of them you know, left and right. But even then you're only for two lamps, you're only at 40 bucks. So just be careful, like what, you know, there's a lot of things out there that might act like, Hey, you need this, but really at the end of the day, you might not need when it comes to lamps, you can find a lot of the features right here on Amazon. Like when I see a lot of ads on Facebook for whatever, this is just outside the hobby, like it's trying to sell this new, super exciting widget that does whatever. The very first, I'm like, oh, the cool, that's very useful. Like I could use that in my life. And it's always like something ridiculously priced like for what it is. And the very th first thing I do as I literally, I was like, what's this thing called? And I type it into Amazon and there's literally either, if not the same brand that's advertising for like three times as much on Facebook or Instagram, but the same exact thing, or if not like something that's very similar to it on Amazon, for like a fraction of the cost. And that's all I'm trying to say is there's a very, when it comes to hobby, yes, invest in your equipment, but do it smartly because there's a lot of things that you can already find that have the same exact features you need for far less than perhaps what might be inside of what you're, what you're seeing in front of your eyeballs, like on Facebook, on Instagram, even in the hobby, you know what I'm saying? So I had a, well, I had to zoom out pretty far on my, uh, uh, set up here because this thing is so large, it's going to take up so much space. You kind of get a little behind the scenes uh, what's going on around here. So here's the actual case itself. Of course, I already got a can here all over it. it doesn't take long around here. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, like on the actual dimensions of this thing, like it's 18 inches at least because this paper is two inches wide. Um, so pretty, pretty wild just in general. And then let's open this thing up kind of show you the good stuff now i'm not going to be able to quite set it up here on camera unfortunately um but you get the idea so here's the uh the foam itself I think this goes this way yeah this goes like this so here's the the foam piece here to kind of keep your stuff from from slipping out and then the existing uh foam i don't know like do we need to get more light there we go all right 
So now more light. Uh, now with more light. These are the existing foam trays uh, from Slow Fuse or from uh, Monument Hobbies that they've had for a number of years that, that fit into this. So if you already have a go bag with your with your uh, stuff in it, well, you don't have to worry. You can just pull it right out and, and kind of put it in here. Um, that's kind of like an advantage there. And then here's the uh, the the wings, as they call it. And I think in, in, they had a plastic pallet that they would slide in here. Uh, to kind of work on and, and you know and then slide it back out you can do that I, I don't know what the other uses are i kind of like this so it's got velcro so it's not like left and right specific um and you can tear these off if you if you don't want them on there if you don't want to flip it out like maybe maybe we just you don't have that much room so you can do it that way um and then there's one for each side so you can put you know whatever over here uh this is where you can keep your of course i don't have it handy oh yeah i do um uh, your cutting mat and then the real the real part and of course i'm working with limited spacing here unfortunately but here's where you put all your paints and things and it's got all the in, in uh indentations uh to kind of put it on here and you can pull this out it's really hard to do but i don't know why you would want to but you can pull this out as well uh, you know like if you have spillage and you need to clean it um this is you know just super nice uh, i guess it's like a canvasy material um so that's basically it but the stuff i was looking at and it's really hard to see in all the pictures is this mouth right here which is really big to be quite honest and they've got these little um elastic right here so you can put different things in there if you want i'm not exactly sure what like maybe some of the bigger um of their pro acrylic primers maybe might fit yeah so it looks like those fit in there pretty pretty easily and pretty good now what i was hoping was that we could fit these little project bins that I come up with. I think I got these from Kroger, little three cup lids, and I put pretty much everything in there. And I was really hoping I could kind of slide them in here, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case, unfortunately. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with those little uh, product lid or project bins that I have a lot of around here. Um, but I guess, uh, I guess we'll find out. You can put your Monument Hobbies so it will fit their um, their basing material and stuff in there too, which is really nice. So maybe I'll put some of that in there. I don't know either way. Uh, so let's look at all the stuff I'm gonna actually try to fit into this. Well, before that, I guess I should show you the, the back too. I really like these zippers. These are really high quality zippers uh, that they put on here. So you shouldn't have any problems at all. These things, you can get a really good grip on them when you're not you know, trying to look at what you're doing through a camera, I suppose. Uh, so here's the back mesh. Like I said, you could put a laptop in here. I'd be, I'd be a little iffy on it. And then you've got this huge area right here, the, the little 45, the reverse 45, like I was talking about. And this is where the strap goes. So I haven't even attached uh, the strap. So you can put all sorts of things back here, like cans of primer if you really need to. Um, little tiny, the smaller compressors would probably fit back here. They might bulge out a little in the back, um, so to speak but uh, i'm just looking around my desk here and seeing what else I could probably fit in here a little fan i could definitely get a little fan in here so lots of different uses and i'm sure that's going to vary by individual now here's my current to go or a current go bag um and it's uh well it's it, it's seen better days it's bulging at the sides um it's still it's it's held in there pretty good but like I said, I'm, I'm really running out of room for everything I want to put in here. So, I mean, we can unpack a few things out of here just to show you. This is uh, the Monument Hobbies brush case. This thing I actually like, and I, I, I'm really super stoked on this one because it's like a basically like holds your brushes as pool, pool cues, you know, so they're up in the air and you don't have to worry about them slipping or anything like that. This is actually a shockingly hard product to find on the market. Um, haven't, haven't really seen any and even the GW one they made as like a Christmas bonus, the, the bristles would match together. And then I've got all my little project bins uh, for different things like uh, different paint projects I was working on. Like this one here was uh, for the Mandalorian. Uh, so I got all my Monument Hobbies and my, my little t uh, brush cleaner right there. Then I've got all the stuff I need to magnetize for the Marvel Crisis Protocol game. And so on and so forth all the way down into my my tool all my tools more of uh, the speed paint i got their cutting mat i've got a larger nylon mat to kind of work on which i guess i wouldn't need anymore water cups um tufts 
lots of tools down in here, some glues, you know, I actually love the glue. Uh, it's pretty good. All my, my, my tool uh, thing, which I'm not sure how that's going to work into here. So lots and lots of stuff that's going to take a little bit of nuance to kind of fit in here. The safety glasses, uh, all my, my bag of magnets. So there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to empty it out because I'll never get filled back up. And then I'll just be like, well, that was pretty dumb. Why did I do that? So over the next week or so, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to work all of this. I'm probably going to have to lose some of it uh, and not actually fit it in here. And we're going to see just what all we can fit in here. And I'd really like to, if I can't fit the majority of the Monument Hobbies paints um, that I can fit in there. Now I have to cover everything because uh, cat hair gets all over everything. So you may not cover your paints and that's okay, but uh, I have to a little bit uh, this far as well, when it comes to cats, you'll definitely, I suppose the long haired dogs too, you'll definitely understand. So when we come back, chances are we'll have a nice needy, not, not uh, needy, but neat um, to go bag uh, to show you how you can make your whole hobby setup, hopefully um, more portable. So unfortunately, it has been a few weeks, <laughs> but uh, I, got the, I got my whole area here a little bit cleaner, which is nice, had a little bit of extra time. And we have transferred over the contents of my to-go bag. Or, um, and for the most part, I got everything in there that I was, that I really wanted to, to kind of move. Now there's still a couple things in here, um, I, you know, that I think if I'm working portably, I probably won't need. This, I, I couldn't figure out a solution for the, uh, thin cement. So I guess that was kind of the, the one thing I'm more miffed about. A couple other things like the little cutting mats and the blue tack and stuff. That's easy. I could probably fit that in there. I'm not super worried about it. Um, my little layout mat, but you don't need this anymore because you have the whole, you know, monument kind of set up there. So there's that. And then there was uh, the little cutout mat that I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but I don't feel like we'll, we won't be able to fit that in there. And um, some tufts, all the tufts that I wanted to fit in here. Well, I guess that's just tough. <laughs> Get it? Um, they're not, they're probably not going to fit, but you know, I could just put them in with something else maybe. And the only other thing was uh, just a random little lid of, of kind of just odds and ends and things that I kind of already have or I, I just didn't need already. Ooh blades for my monument knives. I forgot I had those in there. I just reordered something. I need to look through my stuff before I order. Anyways, uh, so now you can see that it is pretty much empty, which is really cool. And we were able to get, for the most part, everything we wanted into this bad boy right here. Now, the one thing I want to point out was that I just picked this thing up and you probably noticed that my voice changed a little bit and that I had two hands on it. And it is because this is quite heavy and that being said uh this material whatever this is made out of some sort of um i would go with canvassy material um it performed really well like i i don't feel like this is this canvas strap up here is gonna like it's really hard to see i'm not used to filming like this so this canvas strap right here i feel like is uh is very secure and nothing's gonna this like isn't gonna rip out over time i have a gw stashel bag from the 90s with this very same um build or i guess uh cut and weave to it and that thing's still you probably see me walking around in adepticon at it with it on and I, that thing is like going on 30 years old now which is just wild these big zippers right here um as you're about to see they they do a really good job for kind of holding everything in um, that this thing you can uh, kind of fit in here. Now, I do need to make a bit of a clarification. So once you flip this down, um, we did the, I don't know if we did this because I don't remember it's been so long, but the, the whole flip out and then, you know, they want you to basically put your, your paints here and you can put like the dropper bottle stuff from Army Painter there too. They're not going to bounce around as much. They are a little bit smaller, but the foam fits everything. You don't have to worry about that. Like it'll fit G-Dub paint pots. It'll fit your custom droppers. Like if you put your um, uh, contrast in these, it'll fit the monument stuff, obviously, and it'll fit any of the army painter ones. Um, I haven't really found anything it wouldn't quite fit yet. Now there is a palette coming. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but there is a palette coming from them, or you can put your GW palette pad in right here, which I did. And then over here, I've got their cutting mat, 
on this side. So I probably don't need that little super small uh, green cutting mat that I was worried about fitting in here, to be quite honest. Um, and then you've got, you know, all your area right here for all your tools and everything. You can kind of unbox it. I found the best place to put, kind of put your glue and your activator is probably right here because with this little foam piece, it's going to keep it pretty secure and locked in there. I wouldn't mess around with putting in this under area here. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to fit as much stuff under here as I wanted to. You can put in any of the surface primers like we showed you. Um, I use this for the lip of my bases. I haven't used theirs yet. I use theirs mostly for airbrushing. So I use the Vallejo stuff. And this is actually the only Vallejo paint I use anymore. So I might probably transition over to using um, their primer here because it's just, you know, you just want to get like a nice good coat on any of the lips of your bases. I got my, my old people glasses here. And I got them old people eyes now. So I need, I need readers when I'm hobbying. <laughs> It was bound to happen, right? So I keep those in here now. And then I didn't realize that there was a larger elastic strap over on this side. And this is going to keep the little um, the paintbrush vault, which is really just amazing. I've, I've talked about this a million times. So that's really cool that it's got like a dedicated spot in here. Now, you could kind of stuff paper towels or any of like the blue tack and stuff. Like I said, it would slide under here. But this is pretty much full at this point. Oh, and a couple other things I wanted to point out. These foam trays are removable and they do sell them separately on Monument site. So if you have a bunch more paint, you can put them in these and kind of make little project paint, uh, you know, trays and then put them in here when you're going, when you're on the go, if you want. Uh, these are all the Army Painter Speed Paints, the, the, the initial launch ones. So if you have that set of 24, they will all fit in here with tons of room to spare. I have the Monument Paints I was using to paint the Mandalorian right here and then some of my favorite uh, like washes, custom washes, and some other monument paints over here. Um, and then just this G-Dub stuff. I don't actually use GW paints anymore, but I just wanted to fit them in here to show you. And then a couple of the other speed paints, I think. Um, so you can you can pull these out and you can transfer these. You can definitely fit a lot of like whole runs of paints. I mean, Monument's paint will all fit in here at this point too. So you could have a complete set of Monument and then flip it out for you know your washes or and they actually have three different washes now too, which is cool. So it, it, it's really just mix and match. If you have the first to go bag, you have a perfectly good set of foam, which I have one right across the, right behind this whole setup right here actually. Or you can buy the individual foam from them too and you know still have a pretty good use for it uh, flipping to the to the back here i did want to mention i didn't sh set up the shoulder strap but these o-rings that the um the carabiner locks into are pretty sturdy just as sturdy as the handle right here so i'm sure they'll handle the load uh, perhaps better than your shoulder <laughs> at that point, depending on how much stuff you, you kind of cram in here. They have the, the typical luggage like lost and found thing back here um, and the uh, whole area here for patches and things like that. And we do have some spiky bits patches as well. So I figured I'd uh, slap one on there. I think I got the monument ones over on my, on my go bag there um, from them last time. So the huge mesh compartment didn't use anything from that, but you know, you can put your whatever cutting mats and things in there. I found uh, some little uh, containers at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree. And uh, so I was able to put all my tools in these. Um, so I got two different ones, one the, the stuff I use the most, like um, the different drill bits and things and um, pens and, and sort of things. And then this one right here is more set up. It's got my wow stick in it and then um, all my different drill bits and things, some little uh, nice files, my hand cranker for the, uh, the larger drill bits here. Um, and that's pretty much the stuff that I don't use quite as often. So I figured I'd put it in here. Um, then I was able to stash all my magnets in here. So if I need to magnetize something on the go, I've got those and I got the, the two different uh, magnificators that um, uh, Magnet Baron came out with. And then we've got the lights and I told you I was gonna get these and uh, report on them. So we are gonna set that up here in a second, but you'll see that the, for 20 bucks, these lights are pretty good and they, they take up about this much space in the bottom. So you're still able to kind of put some things in around it and have um, some space to kind of, uh, you know, get the rest of your things in here. Now, if you're just using this to paint, then you're not going to need any of this. You're just going to need these right here and then maybe anything else that you might need accessory wise, but like a water cup, which I actually don't know where my water cup is. I've got that little pop-up cup from, um, uh, 
from Game Envy. So that's around here somewhere, but I'll definitely be using that and trying not to smash it and uh, get all the, the water out of it. But it's a really neat little invention and definitely saves some space. So we'll, we'll be using that one too. So let me pull one of these out and show you uh, just exactly how much light they put off. I think, I think they're a great, great find for 20 bucks on Amazon. You can't go wrong with those either. Assembly wise, uh, it's pretty easy. I've already plugged in the lights. You just unscrew the bottom right here and then put it into the base, which is significantly heavy. I would say a decent amount of the weight of the uh, of the bag is gonna be from these two um, bases right here. Ah, and then somehow, I might have to do it off camera here, you just screw this together with both your hands. There's a little, and, it, and it's got a nice, nice big uh, grapple right there. So if you have a hard time with hand stuff or no matter what size fingers you might have, you should be able to get in there and get it good. And once it locks, you'll be able to rotate uh, the lamp itself, which is nice. And then this thing flips out and it flips down. So you get a decent range. I mean, if I didn't have these adjustable lights right here, like this for 20 bucks would be pretty amazing. Let's see if we can get the length over to here and flip this around. And where is this plug in? Oh yeah, right there. Okay, so now, turn it on and turn these off and we've got uh, so there's a reading mode there's a study mode which is more of a blue light there's a relax which is a yellow and then you've got the sleep I guess I don't know I guess that's more yellow and then what you can do is always adjust the brightness as well so I think this is about as high as it gets right here which is for no light in here other than my backlight coming from behind the camera, this would be more than enough to paint with. I mean, I can easily see what I'm what I'm working with right here, uh, even without my glasses on. Uh, so I think this, I mean, for 20 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong with this little lamp at all. And we'll put a link to that in the, uh, in the video here and also in the comments so you can pick these up for your bag or just use them on your hobby setup. Because like I said, for 20 bucks, they got a nice sturdy base. I mean, it, it definitely... If I wasn't doing all this recording and stuff, I wouldn't have spent you know the money I spent on the on these larger lights here. But you know, for twenty bucks, <laughs> I think this is a this is a home run for hobbyists right here. Well, I really like this bag, and it is you know almost two hundred dollars. Yes, but similar stuff from different manufacturers are at least half, if not three quarters of that. I feel like it's a point. And getting something that is literally made uh, <laughs> and can be customized in a lot of ways, uh, I think is is a big plus. So um, I can't say enough good things about Monument Hobbies just in general, because I know they, they always do a good job in anything they develop and roll out. And I'm sure that I'm gonna get you know lots of years of use out of this particular bag here. So I wouldn't think twice about you know, spending the money on it. If, you know, they didn't give me one of these to review for y'all in the first place. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, well, I want that either way. <laughs> Definitely getting that one. And I think those, those lights that, you know, he put on either side of them right there. Uh, those are a great find on Amazon as well for, for 20 bucks. You really can't go wrong with those. So, you know, total all in about $250 before your paints and all, and all that sort of thing. And yeah, it, it is expensive, but I feel like in, in 2023, uh, pricing and also like just value in general, Probably not, like, to be quite honest, but you can just do like I was doing and carry around that bag, that buster bag, as I like to call it. And, you know, it isn't even half as convenient as, you know, being able to hobby with all the stuff readily available, um, e even if it's just something that's your permanent setup. You know, this is this is a great thing. Uh, I wouldn't airbrush on it, but, you know, I would definitely paint on it as well. And, you know, in front of the TV and such, I, I just think there's so many different uses for this thing here. It's great for any hobbyist on the go or any hobbyist that wants to get serious about just being organized in general. So I'm going to stop talking now. It's been a long video, I am sure. Uh, so, you know, be sure to check it out over at Monument Hobbies. Of course, we'll put a link in the comments and also the description of this video, along with those uh, those lamps that you can purchase, too, that are that are pretty neat and hopefully we'll see some more great products from monument very soon as well if you liked that video feature consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3d artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing plus 
discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers they're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on just it's totally up to you obviously we want to keep you as happy as possible so check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spiky